Okay, 2000 and neon clutch. This one's got the D as the 11th digit. So it's the American version. And the best thing to do, first thing on any auto repair is either have an account with all data, go to their website, and uh, look up the instructions, or go to your local library. Use your library card number to log on on their computer. Hit uh, databases A to Z. Then go down to all data. Hit that. Hit uh, select the vehicle. Go through the year, make, model. It'll ask what engine you've got. And then it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions and you won't need to uh, watch any more of this video unless you just feel like it. But, so, first thing, raise the hood. I've done that. Disconnect, isolate both battery cables, remove both or hold down clamp and bolt and remove battery. Then remove the air cleaner throttle body, body assembly as follows. And okay, on the battery we had 10 millimeter on the post clamps and the hold down was 13 millimeter. We've got this on the air cleaner. We've got this little line here to pull apart. Pull this electrical connection. Just connect uh, this so the hose is out this is out of the way. And you've got a 10 millimeter hold down here. And if you don't have a screwdriver as close as you've got, you've got a 5 16 socket, you can use that to take this hose off. And then we just have to get these uh, throttle lines disconnected. And you just have to pull this out of there. This is loose enough to get this electrical connection off to twist around and have easy access to the... And you also have this hose to pull off this end making it even easier to get at it. And there's a little tab right there you pop pry up and then this will slide and then you can slide the other one. Just look for the little t And we've got four ten millimeters and a half inch to move the tray out of the way. Giving you Okay, 10 millimeter to take the ground cable off. Then disconnect the backup. Then comes the bell housing cap. Okay, now I gotta pull these clips off. I'm sure they are rusted on really nicely, but uh, looky here, that's not on very secure is it? So I guess I'll be replacing this one or doing something with that, because it should look like this. Yeah, I put a vice grip on it, put a screwdriver, holding the screwdriver in place, and I pry it down on the screwdriver and 
the clip came off pretty nicely, both of them. And to get the cables off the bracket, I just pushed it back and then they slid right out really nice and easy. And I just popped it up off this nub here. Yeah, two half inch bolts were holding the bracket for the the clutch cables. I don't know where the third one went, but and we've got the speed sensor connector. Let's disconnect. It says to raise the engine on a hoist, but that's not quite my reality. So, next we loosen that drain plug, then pop out the two drive axles, after I drain of course. So, okay, to give some room to uh, move the drive axles out of the way of the transmission, just give some extra room. I undid the lower ball joint with an 18 millimeter and a 15 millimeter and uh, I couldn't get it to separate so I lowered the disc for the disc brakes down onto a log and tapped here with the hammer after I'd given it plenty of room to move by lowering the jack and this separated then one thing to make sure when you put it back together again you see the notch in the side of there you're gonna have to line that up when you slide the bolt in, otherwise you won't get this bolt to slide in nicely. Now, the power steering rack, can, or lower, or I mean outer ball, or outer tie rod end, use the three quarter inch, and normally you can tap up with a hammer but it didn't want to do that for me so underneath this metal bracket I slid a pickle fork and got it between there that way I don't damage this rubber boot so I can put it back together when I'm done as you see now I'll have some room to slide that out. I'll just take a little pry bar between there and pop this side out. And I'll loosen up the other side like this. Throw this extra log under the car for safety. And next the structural collar two fifteens and two eighteens one here and one there for the eighteens and the fifteens are here next we just took off that brace now the lateral bending bending brace two eighteens two fifteens and a ten and we've got a ten millimeter to remove this dust cover and we've got another 15 millimeter right here for this lateral bending brace going to the transaxle 
to give myself some more room with that brace, 10 millimeter, to take the caliper off, half inch for the three up here, drop the strut, pull it out a little bit so I have more room. Next is the starter, two 15 minute bolt or millimeter bolts, one on each, coming from each direction.